Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am Doc Luxury and I'm here with another video for you. This time I am so unprepared but let me quickly take these two pieces out. So for this video I am going to compare the new highly sought after cell phone case and the um, more classic um, flat wallet. I don't even know if those are what these are called, but I will review those coming up. So, like I said in a previous video where I unboxed this one and the blue one, everybody and their mama are looking for these pieces, especially I think in the black. I know that one's completely sold out, and there are a few of the red ones um, remaining. It also comes in lambskin. <clears throat> I know that. I have not seen a chevron version of this one, but um, yeah, who knows? Maybe they will come out with one of those soon. But what I want to do for this video is basically compare this one with with this one right here. And I recently picked this one up and what I wanted these this one for in particular was to use as a um, wallet for cash um, <clears throat> in my vintage jumbos because there is a flat pockets in front of the zipper pocket in the um, in the back side of the bag and this one is um, you know a perfect fit for it because it is very flat and it won't you know deform the the pocket any and so for yeah this one I just wanted to jump on the bandwagon like everybody else and try to get one so let's start with um, with how many credit card slots there are. So this one has four in the back. And this one, so there is no pockets in the back, but there are, there are three. You can see those slit pockets there. Those are for credit cards and there are three of those pockets here. As far as the center compartment, you can see this one is in that, um, it's a, burgundy maroon textile lining and I'm not sure what the black version of this one what that would have in the inside but this one there is a very bright red um, textile lining in there as well this one says um, Chanel made in Italy and this one says Chanel made in Italy as well so they are both made in Italy I believe this one is in calfskin, so it is, so it's not in the iridescent um, calfskin that recently came out in the um, newest collection. And this one, a lot of people think it is calfskin, and so they think this is the normal caviar leather, but it is not. It is in a goatskin. And so, and I mentioned this in a previous video when I unboxed this, if you are to um, call the 1-800 number, they are not going to be able to find this in caviar because caviar refers to um, calfskin. And this is indeed goatskin. And it looks like this is a um, sort of a matte finish, whereas this is more of a shine. You can see the difference when I rotate in the light. Um, <clears throat> so this one of course is what people are calling the the cell phone case and here is the tag and it is called and so Chanel doesn't really um, name their items like Louis Vuitton. This one is called and with this whole new lighting setup, it's harder to get these things in focus. Well, let me see if I can do it. Uh, so this one again is the tag for the, the red one. And it just says, oh miscellaneous. So not very descript there. 
And uh, the black one, let me see if the tags say anything. Okay, so here is the tag for the black one. And this one also says... So it also says, oh, miscellaneous as well. So these pieces, they both retail for 650 USD. Um, <clears throat> oh, and so before I go into more, I just wanted to show you that this is in a shiny silver hardware. And this is in a shiny um, gold hardware. I know these are, um, you know, you can find these... You can still find these in store because they're not as sought after as this one. And if you are interested in this one, let me know and I'll try to, um, you know, hook you up with some information to be able to get it. So, this one, again, everybody's using for a cell phone. And I have the Galaxy, the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. And again, if you saw my previous video when I unboxed this, I did try this on and you can see it slides in pretty nicely. Now I if you now it also so this is you know upside down it is not really going anywhere but if I do you know tap it out it definitely will come out. And I do use a cell phone case. And this one I also have a um, finger, I don't know what these are called. It's a finger thing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, with the thickness of this case, let me just show you in this video, but it does not go in here very easily, and I probably wouldn't use it for, um, for that, which is sort of a bummer because I don't really want to use my phone without the cover. I'm sure I could use a different cover that's not, you know, this thick. So this cover is extra thick because it is also a um, credit card, credit card case where I have two credit cards in there. And it's even more thick because I put this finger thing on there. So I'm sure if I get a, if I got a thinner case, I'd be able to use it with this piece. Um, but yeah, I have not used either of them yet. As you saw, I just unboxed this one just recently in a previous video, which I basically filmed like 15 minutes ago. And I did get this one um, fairly recently, but I have not um, been using my vintage jumbos. I've been giving them a rest, and I've been using my Louis Vuitton Cruiser PM. And so... I have not been using this one. So, I guess I can't really comment on which one I would prefer um, over the other. Because, and let me just see if, I mean, this case, I probably wouldn't use it. And I don't think anybody would use it as a cell phone case. But let me just see. Ooh. So, I mean, it is... The pocket here in the front of the black one is big enough to accommodate a cell phone. But it is a tight fit and I don't want to force it in there. So, I'm sure if I were to, you know, jam it in there, it would fit because you can see it's almost in there. But I don't want to stretch the leather so yeah i'll just use this for um for cash or flat items and this one oh let me show you one more thing that i noticed so on the red one you can see that there are these i don't know what to call it but you could they're sort of like they're sort of like darts um because it helps, you know, um, make this into a pocket. Does that make any sense? But 
this one does not have them so even if I were to shove that phone in here I'm sure it would not um, be a very good idea but if I were to put the phone in here it's just fine so those darts like right there and right there help the um, this little pouch get a little bit thicker so yeah that's all I really wanted to mention for this video um, and if you have any comments questions anything like that please leave them down below and yeah just stay tuned for more videos until next time remember to be you and stay confident take care you guys goodbye